Hey folks, Rob from Mountain Block Moments. Out on the block again, as you can see behind me, it is an absolutely glorious day. Just climbed a fairly steep ridge, headed to where I've got my dozer parked. Did some work on the dozer yesterday. So, we'll get into it again today. Don't know if I'll get any video of it though. Having issues uploading videos to YouTube, which is sort of lacking my enthusiasm for loading, taking video. And I'm also on a fairly tight timeline, so yeah. Well, uh, Turn the camera around and see if we can't get a better view right up on a fairly high ridge. Give you a look at what morning in the mountains is like. We're probably 7.30, 8 o'clock at the moment. Could have got going a bit earlier, but it was a bit cool. Anyway, I'll turn the camera around and see what we can see. Yeah, the camera never phone. Cameras in general, Kel's had a really good camera out here. Just does not pick up how steep some of this country is. Doesn't pick up the different colors on the big old ghost gums. breeze coming through the mountains at the moment, which there generally always is. It can be pretty hot and dry up here without that breeze, that's for sure. This might be one of the last videos I do on this phone. Probably going to be inherited by my 13 year old son for his birthday. And I'll upgrade to the latest and greatest. Look at that. Take a steal of that and hang it on your wall. We don't own all the way out as far as you can see. We sort of only own. Oh, there's no real. Landmark that you can see there. Let's see if I can go right there. That fence runs along, I'd say. But yes, we'll definitely sit here for hours and look at that view. Anyway, we're headed. Another finger from nowhere. Headed up there somewhere is where the daze is parked. Get this track pushed in. If you've seen my other videos, you have an idea of where I'm headed. I'm headed down to that bottleneck that stopped us from bringing vehicles up from the front. So, see how we go. I might take a bit of video of the dozer. So here we are, nearly to the dozer. See it just up there. See we're clearing a bit of a track in here. It sort of occurs to me as I walk along. I've probably done five k's now, and maybe 200 meters of elevation to get to where I am. I know some of you out there think, how can a bloke that owns land, owns machine, has cattle, doesn't have a four wheeler or a Argo or some device to get to one place to another. Oh, I've got a bush basher up here which I'll show you in a minute. Another car is parked down at the um, bottleneck where I'm taking the dozer to. 
and I'm here on my own, so it's very difficult to be get vehicles all lined up to where I need them to be to get me from A to B. Both boys are at school, my wife's at school teaching kids, but also um, the purchases we've made have been with all the money we've had spare. Yes, we have a little bit of money stashed away for rainy days or sick days. It's more likely that I'm gonna be sick than it be raining. So that sort of is the answer. We're just running on a shoestring budget, trying to realize a dream, I guess. Trying to set stuff up for kids. And when we look out that way, neighbor runs 4,000 cows. We run 50. To him, we're pretty insignificant, but we're doing things our way too far in debt. There are moments though when you come up to a steep pinch in a ridge you think oh there's got to be an easier way. But anyway there she is the big Alice. We'll check some fluid levels and start up for another day. But here's another problem. The bush basher battery keeps going flat. And so we've got a those crows chasing. And so we've got a um, short somewhere. Or a leakage at least. It's not a dead short. Now the fuses go. So I took the positive off here. last night after I'd run it for a bit because I jump started it with the Navara. See if it starts and I'll let it charge up a bit while I'm right up at the key. Nearly always drop the key on the floor but as I was taking the key, oh great view. Taking the key out of the ignition. I thought that might have been why it was losing charge. Found the key, it was under the seat. Anyway, see if we can be lucky. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, only just though. So, we'll let her charge up for a bit. I check the fluids on the dozer. Thought there might have been some cows up here. We've been following our cow track as we've come, but no. Hoping all the fluids are right because if they're not. Oh, I don't have the Navara here to top anything up. <coughs> Find a rag here somewhere.
engine oil is good. Look at the uh, radiator levels. Everything's covered, everything's got guards on it. Looks good. Everything's heavy. This is a very big old dozer for the day. Alice Chalmers HD 21A. Other fluids have we got? Check oh. torque converter fluids. Have a little peep at final bright fluids as well, I guess. Yeah. That was my head hitting a bit of soft steel. down there it's about right it's over full you're supposed to start them up and then check it as it blows a bit of stuff around but once you know where it's supposed to be it's generally over full when it's been sitting oh, there's the final drives one see it. So two lines there in between the operating range it's fine. I haven't had to top that up at all yet touch wood. Big big service for it soon when I get down the bottom we'll be changing engine oil anyway and some filters due for another air filter not due for fuel filters we had some issues when we first got it with fuel changed all the fuel filters out anyway let's see if we can roar to life this will be loud for oh yep so that's a battery isolator two huge batteries in this girl
So the Bush Bash is a little Toyota Prado. Um, the in-laws bought it actually because I've been clogging my fairly new Navara, doing a lot of damage to it up here at the Bush Block. Um, they good friends with a car dealership. The only thing that was really wrong with it, it's got a head gasket oil leak and the paint's pretty rubbish on it for a town car. I know heaps of people would love this car for a, their everyday drive, but anyway, we've got it as a bush basher. It is a phenomenal little four-wheel drive, actually, where this car can go is pretty impressive. Um, it's an auto, it's a petrol, but um, the auto, you can go down into a low and the four-wheel drive, you can put in a low as well, so it's sort of a low, low when everything locks up and she'll just about crawl anywhere. Its breakout angles are so much better than my Navara. My Navara always drags its ass going through different spots and my Navara has been jacked up. This car isn't jacked up, so yeah, good old Toyota Prado. Thought I'd leave this little section in, just me getting set up for the day. Put some hearing protection in. It is unbelievably loud between the tracks going round and the motor. You give yourself a headache and hearing damage fairly quickly running these. My grandfather, may he rest in peace, uh, drove dozers as a young fellow and um, made himself deaf in the end. Um, so yeah, definitely try to look after my hearing as much as I can. Also put a dust mask on there. Um, it throws up a lot of dust on the dozer. Very fine dust that you, yeah, keep finding coming out of different places on your body for the next little while. So yeah, just get my bag all set up there. Got water and a few bits and bobs in there. So that's me set up for the day. it for mountain block moments for this video um, we've got more days of work coming up I hope you just can join me for that one it gets interesting I'll uh, let you know that end up um, coming unstuck trying to cut a road into the side of a mountain so see how we go getting that one loaded up please thanks for watching bye